Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Capricorn. Oh yeah. <laughs> so let's get into your astrology reading. So we're going to look at your sun sign, yourself, how you see yourself. Oh, it looks like you're planted seeds and you're waiting for them to come to fruition and they're progressing two three so they're going up for the numbers so i feel like <clears throat> excuse me that <clears throat> this isn't going to be that long uh something to do with your voice though <clears throat> my voice seems to be cracking so something's coming forward, I feel like you're waiting for your ships to come in. So whatever you've manifested. So, oh, okay, you might even have some anxiety about this. We went from three to eight. <laughs> wow, okay. So it's coming. You might be a little anxious about this. What's your moon sign, your emotions? We already know we see some anxiety. <clears throat> wow you are looking at the four of wands and the ace of pentacles wow your blessings you know your blessings are coming the four of wands wow okay so this is a happy home happy life harmony and love is in the air kind of feeling here maybe somebody wanting to propose or you feel like it has to do, I feel like it has to do with love and there's some blessing here. This could be the blessing is this love. I feel like you're, this opportunity is going to bring in some type of abundance for you, some financial. This might have something to do with your career What's your rising sign? What do others view you like? How do others view you? Well, they see that you can adapt. Wow. And that you're very generous or you, you offer a lot. I feel like you might even be somebody that gives quite a bit or you're very giving to your time or your, your energy. I feel like it's, because it is the night, I feel like this is something slow and steady. People see you climbing something slow and steady. You, I feel like you are very hardworking and very productive and very reliable. I feel like you've balanced something out here. I feel like you're grounded. You're trying to balance out your, maybe your home and your, you might work from home. I'm kind of getting that, so. And this is how other people are seeing you. Very adaptable. And you're very um, diligent. You're very productive. Whatever you're doing, you're, you're making a real go of it. What's your Saturn, your discipline and responsibility here? Ooh, wow. Cappy, wow. We have the Ace of Cups here. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> and the Ace of Cups with the Ten of Cups. I'm only reading in the upright, by the way. So if you see me turning the card over to upright, it's because I'm only reading in them in the uprights at this time anyway. So, wow. 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 Okay. <clears throat> this is how you think. So, wow. Okay. So we did... Your sun, your moon, your rising, and this is how you think. Your Mercury. You're thinking about love and happy home, happy life. This may be bringing in your manifestations here. This might be what you've been asking for. And I feel like this could be your blessing. You're going to meet, I feel like you're going to meet the one. Your one. What's your Chiron? How you heal? How are you healing at this time? Okay, so you've had a few backstabs. You might be feeling like um, in defeat when it comes to people kind of, yeah, the wounded warrior. <laughs> Look at that. So, but I feel like at one point you may have felt 
defeated, but now you, I feel like you're more like a survivor, okay? You've built up a bit of a wall here. You've been through at, at least nine wands here. So, I mean, this is, this is somebody that keeps going no matter what people throw at them. It's like you're concentrating on you. You're patching up whatever needs to be done. You're putting everything back together and you're still going forward and it's like you may have been injured or healing something maybe even in an accident or some type of illness but you're you're recovering i feel like you're you have stamina you have you have good power like it's success after a setback okay and with the five of swords i mean this is hostility you may have been had a lot of people have conflict with you. I kind of feel like it has to do with your light. I'm sorry. I hate to say that because it, but you know, if you ever asked your parents, like, why don't people like me? What is it about me that people just don't like? Or it's because you have that inner glow and it brings out people's demons. It's like, whatever you are, they want whatever you are. And it, and it shows them what they're lacking in. Do you know what I'm saying? Or they, that jealousy comes out or envy. And if they're not good with themselves, they, you might be able to feel all these emotions from others. That might be why you, um, you may have been a little confused when you were younger because you could tell when people liked you or when they didn't. And I feel like you learned a lot through your childhood and that could have been really burdensome. But a lot of hostility towards you and you're like, where is this coming from? People wanna argue with you, there's some type of conflict. And you may have felt like it was some type of, or they may have felt it was an empty victory. I don't know, it, I kind of feel like you kind of just kept to yourself, maybe even isolated yourself from people that were kind of nasty to you walk away from them and you're still going like this is your healing and you know how to heal yourself i feel like you really you really have that knack for well then it's your loss you know and you don't really care what people think of you because you're good with you it might be something to do with your confidence actually Let's see. What's your Venus? How do you love? Wow. <laughs> I feel like you are something that is a, a force to be reckoned with. I feel like you are quite unbelievably unexpected to people. Like when they get in a relationship with you, friendship or they are you really catch them off guard i feel like you come across quite unexpectedly that they may have had some type of persona about you like they had some already version of who you were and then it's like with the page of cups i feel like you you really shock them about how you really are you may have some type of innocence about you you're happy, you're kind, you have emotional insight. You know what I mean? Like, you may come across like really young at heart and just not at all what they expect, what they expected from you. They may have felt like you were intimidating at some point and then you, they find out that you're quite mushy or <laughs> your inners are quite sensitive or very beautiful and they're not it's not at all what they expected can i get one more card for the venus <laughs> empress what <laughs> man or woman it doesn't matter it's the energy of the empress okay so i mean this is about pleasure marriage you might be like um they may not expect you to be so <laughs> um, sexual, possibly. Uh, I'm kind of getting that pleasure zone. Um, your marriage material, you're loving, and there's some type of luxury about you. Like, you really know your worth. And I feel like 
this is so unexpected from this person and you're quite beautiful inside and they may have had some preconceived notion of you some type of idea that you were one way and you were completely not at all what they thought you would be and I really love this because you show <laughs> up as the Empress and she's very loving and kind and nurturing she's all four of the Queens right so she's very intelligent and powerful and independent she may even find being on her own like a lot of people can be kind of codependent that way and can't be by themselves they have to be with somebody all the time and I feel like this is not the case with this Empress she's quite secure in who she is that self-assured and I feel like she's very intuitive and very compassionate loving tender-hearted and I feel like this is somebody man or woman I mean it doesn't matter these just because you're coming up in your feminine side doesn't mean that you can't be manly manly <laughs> it's just that when it comes to love this is how you are you're in you're very loving and you may not come across that way to other people but when you fall in love with somebody you're very beautiful you're very beautiful wow people might see this as a burden they may <laughs> because they may they may fall hard for you I feel <laughs> and they don't want to screw it up right and uh, I feel like you're one of those ones that don't mess with me because this is your one and only chance so I know my worth and not that it's a conceited way it's more of a um, I'm got boundaries <laughs> and it's not that you're high maintenance even because I feel like you could do a lot of guy things like you might ride motorcycles or quads or go fishing or hunting or whatever the case but I feel like <laughs> that people don't really realize how good they have it with you okay until you're gone and then it's they may suffer harshly when things go bad because you may not go back to them it, you might just keep moving forward let's see what is your mars how do you deal with life how do you deal with life yeah i feel like they're very burdened if they lose you i feel like they may regret it forever um once they don't have you anymore it's they're very burdened by it so you're mars how you deal with life yeah you, there's the death card okay i feel like you don't i feel like you know what you want and what you don't want okay and i feel like you're quite comfortable with cutting people out and opening that door for new beginnings if somebody crosses a line and I'm talking oh um I told her a white lie or I mean she may even don't lie to me okay don't lie to me don't cheat on me don't do these things because these are my rules these are my boundaries this is what I'm willing to accept and things that I'm not willing to accept so if you cross that line expect me to cut you out of my life here she is or he is coming up as the queen of pentacles now this is material success financial resourceful reliable okay she's still very nurturing though so she's not this is how she's dealing with her life right now she's not willing to put up with any bullshit don't play games with me don't cross lines with me and I'll cut you out of my life I'm I'm beyond that I feel like she's quite mature she's the Empress she knows what she wants and what she doesn't and if you're not what she wants she's going to move on simple as that and it's nothing personal against that it's that maybe she's dating and maybe she knows what you if you're not what she wants she's not gonna waste in more time with what she doesn't want so it's not personal it's just she's looking for maybe a certain type of 
love. And when she finds it, she finds it. So she might have to date a few people. Doesn't mean she's sleeping with them. Just she might go out for coffee or for a drink or for dinner or whatever. Whatever, however she's dating, and it could be he, but I'm saying she because it's the empress. <laughs> so it might be a woman. Um, but like I said, it's all energy, right? So very successful or is going to be very successful. You may have cut her out of your life. And now that's where that burden lies. Okay. So let's look. She does. She's just very... I feel like no bullshit <laughs> kind of attitude. So don't play with me, you know. I'm not that kind of very realistic, you know. So let's see. Well, Cappies are realists, right? Most of them. So let's see. They're very grounded and earthbound. So let's look at your series. Self-love. Okay. What do you got? Wow, you really love yourself. You're a king of wands. Okay, so you might be a very, um, I feel like a visionary. You're very, you want respect. I feel like you're, you're respecting yourself. You know your qualities. You know that, you know, that you have that, res or you have respect. People respect you. Possibly because of your boundaries and your confidence and who you are. People that start to realize who you are. They know you're ambitious and you're very visionary and things come to you. I feel like your self-love, I feel like you. this was a long time coming. Like I feel like maybe you didn't realize your self-worth until recently. And you may have gone through a bad breakup to really f that lesson you know with somebody maybe a relationship you were in I feel like you had to go through that relationship and really get shit on to really figure out that you don't deserve that kind of person you you're lovable you have respect for yourself and I feel like this was a hard lesson for you to learn but I feel like you've learned it and you're moving forward. Your, your self-love, I feel like you keep going with that. This is important because some people can really make you doubt your worth or even doubt your intuition that it's wrong when you know inside that whatever you're feeling or seeing is exactly how you're feeling and seeing despite what somebody might try to make you feel or make you think so it's believing in yourself and your own feelings and not doubting yourself and not doubting what you're feeling so if you suspect somebody is cheating and see somebody going to their house that's a blonde and uh, shoulder length hair that's sandy colored and you know why they're going there <laughs> I mean and you see it firsthand and then this person tries to tell you no that didn't happen and it's like I saw it myself I followed the car they went to your house what are you talking about <laughs> I knew exactly why and I had to see for myself and I did and now you're trying to make me believe and doubt my own intuition that this even happened and that is a form of control so I feel like finding that self-worth and realizing what's going on, seeing it from a higher perspective, paying attention to those around you. I feel like people are really realizing that their self-worth is important. Putting others ahead of you, of yourself all the time is just pleasing other people and you're not a people pleaser. Or you never should be. It should be about that self-worth and knowing yourself. You shouldn't have to do certain things to have people like you. Okay? So that should never be that way. Yeah. 
three of swords. A lot of people have broken your heart. And you keep moving forward with the eight of wands. I feel like you progressed through. It was like a breakthrough for you. This was something that was... You may have been... You, actually, you may have been an object of desire or envy. And it can also mean um, quarrels and harassment. So you may have had experienced all those things. And it really broke your heart. But I feel like this is where your self-worth came in. What's your Jupiter, your luck here? Wow. Okay, so you might be single. Ah, you're going to get your Dharma. I feel like with the justice here, you're going to get your justice. You're very fruitful. You're at the nine of pentacles. So you're good all on your own. I feel like this is my single card. So you may be with somebody, but you're very... You're building your own stuff up. I feel like you're putting self-worth into your basket. Like it's very fruitful and lots of pentacles. And I feel like you're willing to share even three of those pentacles for someone else, you know, and you'll take two and you've got all this money on your trees here. And I feel like you're, you're looking for a certain something here. With justice here, I feel like you've really balanced out your light and dark side here. You've balanced. I feel like you're going to get justice for whatever somebody put you through I, or what people have done to you. That you are undeserving of that. I feel like you really went and gave, all, gave it all. Like, you're very loving, nurturing, and... <laughs> Somebody's going to be very burdened that they lost you. What's your Jupiter, your luck? One more card for Jupiter luck, please. Aha. You're going to have very many options, I feel, with love or opportunities here for, I feel like, making money or your luck. You're going to have so much luck here. You've got all these cups, seven cups full. And I feel like this is something paid due to you. Maybe even spiritual um, inheritance here. What's your Saturn, your your discipline, and your responsibilities? Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Discipline. <laughs> Ten of Swords. Ah! <laughs> so you may have deep wounds here. You might have really felt defeated, betrayed, and there may be some fear. No, it's, it's, I don't feel it's fear. I feel like you're willing to step into the unknown and, and be good with that. But with the Ten of Swords here, I really do feel like this has some type of um, vigilance here, like, you, you've been very vigilant because of all of your backstabbed or being this deceptive energy. I feel like this is like mental, you're quick on your feet to spot danger. And being vigilant is uh, being on the lookout for danger. Like you, you can feel it. Like, but I feel like you... <laughs> This has made you a certain way. This has made you very disciplined in reading people. I kind of feel like because it's in the past, it may have really hurt you. Let's look at your discipline. I feel like this is... Hmm. I feel like this is why you might be a certain way. Oh, yeah. I, I, you might feel like everybody is toxic. Discipline and responsibilities. This has made you a certain way here. You may have felt like there's a lot of people that are toxic or evil or even um, maybe people have committed adultery in every relationship or they're very possessive or controlling towards you. They may have been self-sabotaged. You may have been feeling like you were the object of desire and not a person. I kind of feel like people took you for a certain way and maybe taken advantage of you. 
And this has made you a certain type of way. You may have a lot of triggers that you're trying to get over, but this is, you may feel like you're responsible for what's happened to you. And I don't feel like that's the case. It happened to you and it's not, it's not happening to you. It's happening for you in a sense that it's making you see things in a different way. Okay, that love isn't all about being the object of desire. Okay, it isn't all about sex or maybe you have this type of mindset that that's all they want from me is, is to have sex with me. So and it might have hurt you. There's a lot of swords here and a lot of cups crying. Can I get one more on the Saturn? Yeah, it has to do with object of desire and love. You may have felt like maybe you're a hot number, like, and that's how people see you. I'm getting this object of desire, object of desire. And you kind of wonder if that's why people give you the cup of love is just to get with you for sex or maybe you feel like you have to give them sex to keep them or something along the lines of feeling used anyway or maybe even manipulated. What's your Neptune, your imagination? Let's move on from that. Okay. Oh, wow. So whatever you're imagining or whatever ideas you, I feel, you might be at home working on these ideas. Yeah, look at you're coming up as the emperor. Whatever this is, it could be very um, successful for you. With the emperor, that's Aries. That's about whatever your passion is. I feel like you are, whatever you're feeling for what's passion, what makes you excited about work, what you really enjoy doing. I feel like this is what you're doing right now. You may have found your life purpose or you're going to. I feel like you're um, taking time to heal things. Could be that if you're the empress coming up here in love, I feel like you've had a lot of experience, maybe what you don't want. <laughs> and you're realizing that when it comes to love and being in that responsibility and that discipline, it's not about being an object of desire. Man or woman, it doesn't matter. It's not all about what you can give them. It's supposed to be an equal give and take. And I feel like this has made you a certain type of way when it comes to your discipline or your responsibilities. And I feel like it's not your responsibility to have to be the object of desire that whenever they want to have sex, that you have to have sex or something along, something along those lines. Anyways, your imagination here is really on point. I feel like whatever break, it's like a breakthrough here. I'm almost getting the Ace of Swords. It kind of feels like whatever it is that you're thinking about your imagination you have so many ideas i feel like it could make you a lot of money you're very talented i i'm getting really talented here especially with the emperor coming up <clears throat> okay how's your uniqueness your uranus what's your uranus oh you're coming up as the queen of wands wow okay so you're very confident and determined whatever your whatever your uh, <clears throat> personality is I feel like people see you quite unique because you're very confident you're kind of fiery and determined you're self-assured and a lot of people aren't that good about themselves you know what I mean they're not at that level you're very optimistic I feel like you're very positive yeah, you're a team player. Look at that. Which makes you very unique because not everybody is. Not everybody wants to help other people. They like to uh, maybe be helped or... I don't know. I feel like you're... 
with the three of pentacles i kind of feel like you're i feel like you see people as an equal like you don't you don't look like you're above them you're very cooperative you're very willing to share your wisdom and learn new ideas i feel like you're not one of those people that feels like they know it all i feel like you're quite willing to learn new things what's your palace and relationships here what's your palace and relationships <laughs> well you might be very serious when it comes to relationships with the ace or the king of swords excuse me and the nine of cups your wish fulfillment here when it, you may be somebody's wish fulfillment let's look at this the king of swords so i kind of feel like you're um very serious you have integrity you're willing to reason you're very smart so i feel like you're you'll confront people about things I don't feel like you you sit back and don't say anything. You're very vocal when it comes to things. You're willing to communicate. I'm kind of feeling communicating. And if there's an issue, I feel like you'd like to confront that right away or deal with whatever is upsetting you. Or, But you're very disciplined when it comes to things. And I feel like you're definitely wish fulfillment here. And you're very serious when it comes about relationships. So you take that very seriously. It's not something that, like, I don't feel like you're dominating or or don't let people have their space or anything like that. I don't feel like you're serious that way. Like, I just feel like you, you're very, um, if you're with somebody, you're with them. It's like, if somebody gives you the eye and you're not one to go off with that person, I feel like you'll just like shut that down like now, like I'm with this person. You know, if you get other offers, maybe like if you're showing up as the queen of wands here in your uniqueness, you're very beautiful or very attractive, I should say, because you could be a man as well, right? And I feel like with that, that could be where people think that Oh, just because you're nice looking that you're going to cheat. Well, no, that's, you're very serious about your relationships. I feel like you're very loyal, very loyal. You're not willing to um, play chicken with your relationships. You're not willing to have things go wrong in your relationship by doing something stupid. I feel like you really take that seriously in the sense that there's no cheating um don't you know i'm not one to to cheat or to lie or to manipulate or to you know what i mean like just very serious about relationships in in general but you are somebody's wish fulfillment i feel like you're very satisfied when it comes to relationships um the nine of cups it's kind of like you're content you I feel like you have a really good well uh, a sense of well-being you know what I mean like satisfaction I feel like when if you're in a relationship with somebody you're you're committed you're satisfied you're content you're fulfilled and this might be how other people feel when they're with you as well right so take it however it resonates What's your future, your wealth here? Future, or your fortune, I mean. Your fortune. Your wealth. Your fortune and wealth for Capricorn. Okay, so we have, okay. So, competition or arguments. Let's see about your wealth here. Yeah, you might be saving something. So, somebody, a five of wands, like... You might have a lot of, <laughs> with your, say you get a lot of money, okay? And maybe it's all happening at once. 
something along those lines. You're going to have a lot of conflicting opinions, too many choices, or it's going to be like a, a bit of a struggle of the complexity of it all, because I feel like you're going to have a lot of people in your ear trying to tell you what you should do with your money or with whatever you're doing. And I feel like you're saving it. You're hanging on to your wealth. You may not even want to share that you have any wealth. You might keep that under wraps with the Four of Pentacles. You might have that as cautious. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling, like you're cautious about maybe telling people about this because you don't want people to treat you differently or a certain way here. But I feel like something's coming in that's going to make you save it. You're going to have a lot of choices on what to do with this money. And I feel like you might just go away on a vacation to think about things without people bombarding you about your money. Wow, the Hierophant. Now this might, conflicting opinions, might have to do with you having a relationship and... Maybe having a prenup or having to do with marriage. This might be why people are having, maybe it's your family or others that are trying to tell you, um, make sure you have a prenup. Maybe that's why I got prenup. But it's like, I feel like whatever it is for your fortune or your wealth, Family's going to be a part of this because of who you might want to marry. You might be very traditional and want to get married or... Hmm. Okay, well, let's move on. What should you know your influence? Okay, so you, you're influenced by spirit. you got the high priestess coming out. And that has to do with the moon. But this is about foresight, entitlement, um, entitlement, I don't know why I said that, influence, I feel like you know what your, your worth is, you're entitled to something here, why did I say entitlement, what I was going to say was enlightenment, so entitlement, I'm not sure why that came out, but I feel like you're entitled to something here. Maybe somebody held something back from you. You have the sight though. Like I feel like you're connected with spirit. You're a, you're like a mystery to people though. Very mysterious and secretive. And this could to be to about your wealth. So you're influenced by spirit. I feel like you might have ancestors you speak with even. Maybe you're clear audience. I feel like you got some clairs here. Happy Wow, entitlement, ton of pentacles, oh my god, I feel like you know you're going to have some type of big financial success or something here, you're entitled to have these ten of pentacles here, <laughs> and spirit might be telling you, look, I'm going to bring you a blessing, wow, this is what's influencing you. And, wow, it's like entitlement. I can't believe I said that. But it's like, wow, you know you're entitled to a certain something. Maybe you've manifested something and you know it's coming. What's your best at your potential here? Okay, you're able to walk away from people. I feel like when you know it's not something good for you, you walk. Yeah, look at this. The ace or the... <laughs> Jesus. My mouth is going too fast for my, uh, or my brain is going too fast for my mouth. Okay, so we have the page of swords, and I'm getting all these information, and it's like, what do I say first? Okay, so you're able to walk away from people. You know when to cut people out. I feel like you pay attention with the page of swords. It's like you have this knack for this um, communicating, but I feel like you're very picking up on that danger or that vigilant. You're being very vigilant to 
any disruptions that come your way, that you're quick on your feet, you watch, you pay attention, you're very, um, I feel like you can, uh, like you pay really close attention to, and I feel like you might pick up on their emotions, or their thoughts even, I feel like you can really read people you can tell what they're feeling or thinking. It's it's very amazing to me because when, I've never um, experienced this level of, um, I guess you could say, self-worth of myself. So when I went through my journey here, I feel like this is something that you're able to do. and. You may have always had this gift, but you maybe never really knew what it was. And now that maybe you got into spirituality, you're picking up on what makes sense now. It's all making sense is what I'm getting. You're, it all makes sense. And now this is your potential, your Vesta. So I feel like you are, are making sense of certain situations in the past why you felt certain ways, what happened in there, and what your intuition was telling you at the time. And I feel like you can go back to seeing, even from your childhood, certain situations and why certain things happened the way they did. What's your south node, your past life? Yeah. Okay, so you may have had to make decisions without all the information, or you may not have been maybe didn't have the ability to see the truth in your past life. And I feel like this lifetime is completely different in that aspect now. I feel like you're really picking up on things. And maybe you weren't connected to spirit like you are this, this time around in this life. One more card for the past life, please. What was your past life, your south node? Oh yeah, decisions especially about love, okay? In your past life, so I feel like maybe you didn't, 2-2 two, two is here for your past life here. So this may have come back to this lifetime here. I'm feeling, um, you may have been, there may have been somebody you, uh, there might be a karmic the uh, that's followed you into this lifetime, but I feel like your person your person that you are meant to be with also came with you. You may have chose wrong in your past life when it came to love. What's your mid heaven, your career here? Aha, you're a star. You're getting recognition. You may be in the limelight. You are a sweetheart. Oh. <laughs> with the queen of cups oh so you're very intuitive i knew you're intuitive very compassionate and loving nurturing even tender-hearted and with the star wow that's aquarius this is about being analytical like you're very smart you give hope and promise here you may even have a knack for healing like just being in your energy is healing for people. Maybe even people come up and ask for guidance from you or talk with you and you may get to the root of maybe some of their issues. And I feel like they may even ask you for guidance or maybe you give guidance. Maybe that is what you do for your career. This might be something that you have faith in. You, you may even be from spirit. Maybe you are uh, something to do with spirituality, maybe online or a platform, but you're being seen. And people see you as who you are, a very kind, loving kind of person. Oh, that's beautiful. And that's your career. So I feel like whatever you're doing right now for your career, if you aren't in this now, you will be. This is coming or you may even be working towards that now. What's your hidden emotions, your Lilith? What's your hidden emotions? Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Okay. 
So you're very emotionally balanced, you're generous and compassionate, and you can manifest like crazy here with the magician. You have all the tools in your toolbox that you use in order to manifest what you are wanting. Look at this, because it is coming in. You're expecting this. Your intuition is telling you, you are getting something coming in here with the Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like this is something you've worked hard to get. This is something you're doing for yourself. Uh, this is something that maybe you're doing by yourself, but you're manifesting. What This is your hidden emotions. People may not know this about you, that you're able to manifest. Happy, wow. What's your Moon J. Coley here? Your roots, family, ancestors. What do they want to tell you? This is from past family members like that have already passed over what do they want to tell you okay they may be trying to tell you to hang back a bit here something is coming maybe um have that awareness or a new perspective about something this is about imagination okay there might be something that needs to be sacrificed i kind of feel like this is Something to do with you're not going to let anybody push you into making a decision too quickly. Like you're going to take the time you need to think something through. And if somebody's going to rush you, then there's a reason why they're trying to get you to make a decision. There's a hidden agenda behind it. And I feel like you're picking up on that perception of it. So... And this is from your ancestors. Can I get another card from your ancestors, please? For your, yeah, you're healing this. I feel like you are recovering from something here. I know it came up in the upright, or I'm only taking uprights, but I feel like you have done a lot of healing, or you are doing healing now. And you may need to heal some type of perspective that you may have about something here. The Four of Swords. I feel like this is your sanctuary. You, you might be by yourself even. You're, you may hang around at home. I kind of feel like it has something to do with um, sanctuary from a previous pain. Needing to rest and have peace. And... This is part of what your ancestors want you to know. Like healing some type of perspective or taking the time to rest to see something differently. This is all about that sanctuary from a, some type of previous pain that you may have gone through. Healing whatever it is about some type of perception. Can I get one more card just to kind of solidify what we're doing here? What is the ancestors trying to say here? What are your ancestors, Cappy, trying to tell us here? What did you need to know? Oh, wow, okay. Don't be a fool about some secrets. Maybe... Okay, wait, hang on. These are major arcanas here that are coming out. So with the hangman, I mean, that's huge. These are all major things you're doing here. And this is something major your ancestors want you to know, maybe to take a leap of faith with something here. And with the moon, I mean, that that's Pisces. This is about having compassion. Might be something, an illusion surfacing might be about fear or some insecurity. Possibly something to do with intentions here. So I'm kind of feeling like healing a perspective, taking a leap of faith, something about a something surfacing or some type of illusion 
healing some type of illusion, taking a leap of faith. You're going to know what that means to you. However that resonates, it doesn't, doesn't necessarily make sense to me, but it might make sense to you. Because this is the message to a Capricorn here that I'm picking up on. Something about being in your sanctuary, I feel like... I kind of feel like you, your whatever your perspective is telling you, I feel like you know you need to hide from somebody or something here. I, I'm getting more of a hiding with the moon here, hiding in that sanctuary, taking a leap of faith with something here, with a different attitude or perspective. But whoever you're hiding from, I don't feel like it's them. I feel like whoever you're hiding from, stay hidden. I feel like, not that there's danger, but I, I feel like there's conflict there. Or some type of illusion they might try to place on you. I feel like you need to um, take a leap of faith with something else here. Take a leap of faith. Stay hidden in your sanctuary and listen to your perspective or whatever whatever you're thinking I feel like it might be right hmm. I'm not sure I uh, you might know what that means so however it resonates for you I'm not here to make sense of all this this is whatever makes sense to you I mean whatever it is for you is going to show up here right so I'm just reading the cards I'm just the messenger here don't shoot the messenger <laughs> so what's your north node your current life like right now what's your current life like right now wow king of pentacles is coming out ah, okay <laughs> I see why this is here okay with this ancestors trying to tell you something because right now in your current life you may be on top of the world with maybe um get, having some abundance you're very smart and you're being disciplined and you may have the power to make the decision here with the judgment card i feel like you're going to use your judgment to make the right decision or use your judgment to make the right decision What's this? Is this a calling or this is about making good judgment calls. This is about being in a purpose or a calling here. And I feel like you might be there. You're very abundant in whatever you're doing for your purpose. But don't I this part here is making more sense because you might be thinking about somebody from the past or maybe somebody is coming back around because I did feel that before in some of my other readings Capricorn that somebody was going to come back around from your past so this looks like to me like that use your good judgment about somebody from your past maybe you're not supposed to go back to the past and whatever you've healed here they don't want you to be foolish in a sense that I'm not saying that you're a fool. I'm just saying that your ancestors don't want you to be fooled by this person with the illusions because this is stuff you've already healed. You've already healed and you have a different perspective from about this person. And I feel like you don't feel the same way you did before. And your ancestors are saying, Hold tight to that because they're going to come back around and try to give you some type of illusion they want you to buy into. Now this is making so much more sense now with the past card coming up and judgment and where you are right now. Or it could be a king of pentacles that's coming around. You're going to use your judgment when it comes to this past person. So your, pa your ancestors are warning you that somebody might be coming back to feed you some type of illusion here. And you need to stay strong because you've already healed this. Okay? So let's look at your Pluto. Your transformation. Okay? This is whatever your challenges have been. 
um, your Pluto is kind of like, um, it's kind of like the judgment card, actually. Uh, it's about your transformation, your calling, good judgments, your purpose. Ah, <laughs> transformation. Wow. I feel like you know when somebody is deceiving you. This is what you've transformed. I feel like that is why you are here on this. You, your responsibilities and your discipline is about <clears throat> how people have hurt you in the past and made you cry. And maybe you, maybe you, um, I'm kind of getting that you felt that how you look or being desired, uh, you may be using your body for um, trying to persuade somebody to love you. And I feel like that is not not how you feel now. I feel like you've learned this. This is your you're more disciplined when it comes to this. Okay? So wow, this is so breakthrough. Like I feel like such a breakthrough for you. Like you've really broken through some type of barrier here and you're really seeing things for what they are. Like you're really waking up. This is a wake up. And I feel like this has to do with transforming. And this is all about um, this communication and this trickery, the cheating, the lying, the manipulation, somebody getting away with something. And I feel like you are on point with that. You are going to see when somebody's trying to get away with something. Nobody's going to be able to lie, trick, or deceive you anymore. I feel like this is what you've transformed. This is something that I feel Spirit is really helping you see. Maybe you even said to Spirit, please never let me, um, let, never let me, no, um, what was I going to say now? Um, never let me get tricked again or something along those lines okay um i don't want to be tricked let me see the tricks or something along those lines where let me let me see when somebody's trying to deceive me let me see the signs let me pull on that intuition and i feel like you're really in tune with that so if somebody comes up and starts blabbing or lying it's like you see through that person so quickly you pick up on their emotions and their their thoughts and I, I just feel like you're really in tune with this trickery you're not going to miss a trick you're going to see this is beautiful Capricorn you've made such a breakthrough through things and this is huge you have some major things coming through and I feel like whatever was in your past life I have I feel like that's so different this time around. You may have just started to wake up. This might be a um, fairly new journey for you. Maybe in the last few years. I'm feeling like maybe you w woke up in the last five years or so. And this is, this is beautiful. I really like this for you, Capricorn. There's some really deep messages here that maybe really hit home for you. And I hope I'm helping somebody along the way here. Wow, Capricorn. I hope somebody claims this. Put it in the description box if you want to claim this reading because, damn, <laughs> this is so awesome. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to um, give me that thumbs up because uh, I really do enjoy knowing how many people resonate with this. So, awesome awesome reading i hope you enjoyed it all right take care oh and if you want to uh, donate to the channel there's a paypal account in the description box below that you can donate to um i i always say thank you thank you thank you for helping support the channel just by watching even and I really appreciate each and every one of you. Of course, all the donations go to buying either new cards or putting it towards the subscriptions that I need to keep the channel going. So 
Thank you, thank you for that. I appreciate you all. And take care, stay blessed. All right, later.